Saturday morning. I had to rush through my workout because this guy was coming to buy my tractor. Although it's not a very long workout, it probably takes me 20 minutes to from like my start, which I do five reps, two sets of five with just the bar. And uh, then I don't know, there's like five or six warm reps that I do. I do one or two reps on the lighter weights, but then just one rep on the, like I do 425 and then 539, just one rep with each of those. And, uh, you know, then I jump into this. I might do more reps if it's colder out, but surprisingly, even though it's November 23rd, it's pretty warm. And so, anyways, what I got, I was feeling pretty strong today. I, uh, what else did I add to the stack? I, I took some cartery, and I don't think that really helped that much. I did the guy's recommendation. I've been doing that for the last few days. workouts where I take about two to three grams of L-citrulline. And he says that it, he feels like he gets more force production out of it. And that would make sense because it's a precursor to adrenaline. It might have helped, might not have helped. But anyways, uh, I took it anyways. So, uh, yeah, this set turned out pretty good. Being at my lighter body weight, I, uh, I'll just keep on doing these like one kilo jumps each week. And uh, it'd be cool if I could do uh, 10 reps with, with 300 kilos again. But, uh, yeah. Was that the last rep? Oh, yeah, that was a pretty clean last rep. I a it. lot of guys are obsessed with strength. And this is kind of ironic, though, because a lot of those same guys actually don't know what strength is. And I'm not talking in a philosophical sense. I'm not talking about strength of will or personality. I'm talking just physical strength. A lot of guys really want to become stronger, more physically imposing, this is the worst example of it. By the way, kettlebells fucking suck, and you just wasted a lot of money. And I know you're gonna, if you're a kettlebell swinger, you don't write something bitchy in the comments because you're just gonna, don't tell the whole world that you're gay. Just go sell your kettlebells and buy us a fucking barbell and a bunch of plates. But they haven't first defined what strength is. And that's actually really important because there are many different ways to define strength. This is where Ripito comes in, okay? And if you're not familiar with it, which if, if you are familiar with it, this is just going to be kind of annoying, but the, the strength is the ability to produce force against an external resistance. And there are many different types of strength. If we were to try and power no, scale no. our favorite fitness influencers, we'd have a hard time because it's not like comparing... Oh, I have a muscle hoodie on. Apple. Well, no, he, did, he still has a little bit of sleeve. ...to apples. The strength of one guy is going to be very different from the strength of someone else and they're not easy to compare. But let's say for a moment that you are taking that approach and you're trying to find out how strong someone is. The first thing you might ask is how much can they bench press? This for many of us is a yardstick we use to gauge how strong someone is, but it's really not that simple. Obviously, if you guys watch this channel- I agree, my bench sucks, so I don't count bench press as a strength exercise. What's really, what really matters, listen up, Pilgrim. What really matters is how much you can it doesn't, it's not about how much you can bench press. It's about how much you can get up and keep on going. Oh, Channel, you'll know that my issues tried, with bench press are that it's it not a, rocky thing. a do terribly it. functional exercise. You never lie flat on the ground and push that much weight above your head. If you try and push that weight standing up, you're going to fall over. So it's not that useful a metric. But even putting that aside for a moment, because of course it's going to transfer to some degree, it's going to somewhat reflect the strength of your pecs and your triceps and your shoulders. But even putting that aside, why is this the yardstick? <sighs> why not squat <sighs> or deadlift? And why not curls? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna take over the world again, the English rule. Yes, uh, Irish of little plebs. <laughs> because curls use an entirely different muscle group. If I'm being really tricky, I could say that I'm nowhere near as strong as a professional powerlifter, but I do have stronger ear muscles. This is the, like, why don't you find something gayer to do? I bet. I could probably... Did he say ear muscles? professional powerlifter, but I do have stronger ear muscles, I bet. I could probably yeah. out ear wiggle them. Obviously, that's a bit ridiculous. My point is that we have lots of different muscle groups, and strength isn't entirely a global trait. It's somewhat global, but it's also specific to individual muscle groups. So you could have very strong legs and a weak upper body, or you could have very strong upper body and weak legs. So what is strength and why does one thing count more than another? Obviously core strength, we don't tend to measure. How did he make a whole video out of this? Gauge that. But if you take it's someone with a big minutes. bench press, but a weak core and put them in a bunch of different activities, they're not necessarily gonna outperform. Them. Your strength in uh, badminton's gonna be terrible. And if you, if you have strong legs and 
strong legs and a weak core, then your strength in uh, dunking is not going to be all that hot. The person with the strong core. So who is stronger? You could argue that in many scenarios, it's your grip strength that's the most important of all. So we could argue that rock climbers are actually the strongest. But let's step back even... F no, they're not the strongest because they're holding up 140 pounds. ...further and take an even broader approach to this because... There's if you just start with the fucking basic definition of strength... Well, I mean, you're not going to have a video and then you're not going to have... 2,500 people, let's see how many views we got. You're not going to have 31,000 views after 18 hours. Although he's probably going to get way more than that eventually. All pups will be like, yeah, my, my great-grandfather great -grandfa always says that who strength is how, much, how many reps you can do with 50-pound kettlebell swings. Actually, more than one type of strength, as many of you are probably aware. You have absolute strength, which is your max strength. How much can you lift, and is it more than the other guy? This is one of the simplest options. You have your relative strength. How no. How much can you lift for your body weight? You have strength endurance. How many? That, the whole body weight thing, that's just that's, if you're a fucking uh, twink. Basically, if you're under six feet, well, actually, five, and if you're under five foot 11, then uh, that's the metric you use. Times can you exert strength without gassing out? And you have explosive strength. How explosively can you exert that force? Can you run fast, jump high, throw a powerful punch, all that good stuff? And again, efficiency. these are all very different and we train them in very different ways. And it's not easy to say that one is more important than the other. So maybe you can bench oh, press 150 kilograms, but if a baseball player- Maybe you can do sissy punches in the forest, start to, start to pond. Can throw a ball at 100, <laughs> 100 miles an hour, <laughs> is not the baseball pitcher in some no, ways you can't stronger. Have my lunch. No, you can't have my lunch money, you bully. Crab and, crab and Doyle, Crab and Goyle, I'll fucking knock your teeth out or at least more powerful. <laughs> Another topic that can be quite nuanced slithering. is internet security. And whilst a VPN won't protect you from every kind of threat online, it's certainly yes. a very... I don't want the NSA seeing any, any my YouTube search history. Otherwise, everyone will the, they'll show the whole world that I'm a freak. ...important piece of the puzzle, which is why I recommend today's sponsor, NordVPN. So a VPN works essentially by letting you connect to a yeah. server... There a big discount by heading to nordvpn.com forward slash Here we go. Now on with the show. I could argue that this is easy. When you're talking about strength, you're talking about max strength, absolute strength. That's it. That's what this we're... This guy's part of Hogwarts. I just figured that out because of the shirt color. ...interested in. But why is this the case? Why is it that people are more interested in max strength when actually it doesn't really translate to all that much? Strength endurance in many cases is more important because in the strength real... Strength endurance. Holy shit. This guy's been watching too many Sam Sulek videos. Strength endurance just means... If you're stronger, then the low, the a lighter weight is more, more submaximal to you than someone that's weaker than you. It's not like oh my, I just got you know I, I my strength and it's kind of, it's kind of like you have 50 liters of gasoline in your tank compared to someone who else has 40 liters. No, it's it's all it's all based on your strength. The world in real activities, whether it's moving furniture, playing sports, wrestling, you don't exert strength just once. You don't pick something really heavy up once, put it down. You want to make it functional. Like walking through the woods with a with a thirty pound kettlebell for two miles, like our ancestors. And then you're done. You tend to carry it, move it, etc. So you need to be strong for at least a significant duration of time. Tom Platts is a golden era bodybuilder who says that he used to be able to do a hundred repetitions of a hundred kilograms of the squat. Now, just because you've got a massive squat and you can squat seven hundred pounds, say, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to do that incredible feat. And in some ways, yeah, well, that some of that is just self torture. That's more impressive. I so, did seventy seven reps with two twenty five. Who's stronger, the guy who can do the really big max squat, or the guy who's doing the squat? He also did twenty three reps with three sixty five, and then pretended it was five twenty five. For high high reps. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, good night, San Diego. And who's got the more useful strength, more to the point? They could say that yeah, yeah, who's got the more useful strength? Someone who can squat 700 or someone who does 100. I mean, it, it, it doesn't make you mentally tough to do that, that sort of thing. But um, the, the guy who did the 700 for one is using his time much more efficiently. You don't really, you, for 100, 100 kilograms for 100 reps doesn't really build muscle. It just gives you a shitload of lactic acid, and it's going to tire you out a lot, and you're going to get a lot of inflammation. But, and uh, it's more of like a, uh, like a brag, it's, it's more of a boast. 
difference here is that absolute strength is a single example of your strength. It's what you can do in one big go. But if that's the case, then why aren't we more interested in explosive strength, in the ability to recruit muscle units quickly and to exert lots of power in a forceful way? Just because you have a massive bench press doesn't mean you're gonna throw a powerful punch. Here, technique's important, but it's also about your ability to recruit motor units quickly. It's about your rate of force production. The faster you can recruit those motor units and call yeah, them into action. you can't fucking train. You, you can barely train that. This guy's a fucking noob. I'm the pioneer. I'm not a noob. I've been doing this for 50 years. The more powerful that punch is going to be. And we see this in Olympic lifting. Performing like a clean and jerk. Yeah, that, those people are born with that ability is an extremely they just, they, just have to, they just have to practice that fucking lift powerful movement compared to something like a squat so again oh, why are people yeah. more interested what is that a fucking 40 pound sandbag than what you can squat rather than what you can powerfully go into the air or Bulgarian. what you can lift for multiple repetitions and just to be clear here oh, yeah. I'm not saying I'm pretty sure that the Bulgarian weightlifting team doesn't use the Bulgarian sandbag that one is better than the other I'm not trying to diminish powerlifting I'm saying that they're all valid examples of strength and so too is the guy who just has a strong grip and you can't take any of those people and say that one is stronger than alt different muscles have someone different... who weighs 130 pounds that can hold themselves up on rocks for a long time only has a strong grip relative to their own body weight but it's not going to be as strong as the guy that did the captures the crush five okay it's not he's not even fucking close the guy with the who can crush that that fucking big english i think the guy's english or whatever maybe he's not no Anyways, that guy can just, that guy could like uh, pop your, you know the great call Lee when he grabs the person's head and squeezes it? That guy could fucking explode your head. Types of strength. You have a greater proportion of slow twitch fibers in muscles that you use all the time. There we go. Some more so punching. in order to be explosive, you need a higher density of fast twitch muscle fiber, maybe super fast twitch. That means you need super to train it fast twitch. explosively, which <laughs> is going to give you. <laughs> you can be in the forest doing all the sissy punches you want with your hood up like a wigger. You're not gonna. You're not gonna increase your neuromuscular efficiency that to any degree that would make your punches. Uh, that, that's gonna like turn you into uh, uh, George Foreman. You muscle fibers that are more conducive to exerting power explosively, but this tends to be. And you can do all the box jumps you want. You're not gonna. You're not. You're. You're not gonna bring your vertical jump from 24 inches to 36 inches. Less efficient, meaning that you gas out quicker. But at the same time, in order to be really- Oh, well, this guy did it. The, 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 the knees over toes guy did it. The knees over toes guy could already dunk. He just went from being out of shape to in shape. It's explosive in a movement like a punch. You need to be able to quickly recruit those motor units. That means you need fast rate of force production, which is more about- The other thing is that he just like, it, it, it's, it's a sale, okay? He's making a sale. So let's say he, he shows his like before, or he just talks about it. I haven't even researched the video. So hopefully I don't look like a total ignoramus. But you just pretend like you can't do something. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, I did all these box jumps. I walked backward a bunch of times. And then I was standing. I did squats with my toes up in the fucking air. And uh, I did that for six months. And now I can dunk. Buy my program, people, if you want to be a dunk. If you want to dunk like Darius. That's what I should have done. Shit. I should have pretended like my 801 for two reps. That was my... Guys, that was uh, after six months of training. So... Uh, if you go on Instagram, DM me. Uh, I do a 12-week lifting program, and uh, 12 weeks, you know, you buy two programs, you might have an 800-pound deadlift, okay? Because ha half a year is 26 weeks, 24 weeks. You know, you, we'll do. I could do the 20. I could extend it for an, ex, uh, an extra two weeks on top of that. Uh, I'll do that uh, for an extra, we'll say, 10. Okay, 10 USD. So you're going to pay me $50 USD total, and your deadlift might get to 800. Eccentric strength. Trust me. But you don't have explosive. But I do actually sell the programs, but um, no, you're not going to make progress like that unless you're uh, re already really close to. Explosive strength. That. In those. Oh, man. I don't think I can get back down. Thank you. Energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up. Well, where do I gotta go? Stop dancing, boy. So I don't go that way. Oh, I have to go down into that tunnel, I reckon. 
At least I got my Warthog back. Is there some other sissy following me? There we go. I can get a real fucking vehicle. You know, if I had my Warthog inside of that tunnel... Oh, for fuck's sake, go away, buddy. Nice driving. If I had my Warthog inside that little, uh, that little zone there, that room, I don't think anybody would have fucked with me. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That's right. Now this is fucking... Now this is pod racing! Hell yeah. I was built for this. Low gravity makes you weak, boy! No fucking way, I'm not... Open fucking sesame. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna ram it. I mean, there was this movie with Gaston Kutcher and his, uh, what the hell is it called? Shit, I think it has, ah, fuck, Hammer Who's in it, but he rams, he tries ramming through it, this, like, uh, rich girl's gate at the end of the movie, and with his muscle car, and it just totally fucking pones his muscle car. Just in case. Oh my god, okay, good. Lots of ammo. Whole lot of meat in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, I got a feeling I'm gonna have to make a montage out of this whole thing. Okay. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, there we go. That, that, that turned out okay. As long as we're on close quarters with those sons of bitches, so they can sneak up and super slap me, then I'm all good. Or they, if they have a freaking rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Okay, come on. Jeez. I got an extra I need an extra radiator in my stupid plasma rifle. Runs like an idiot. See what I mean? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, of course I can't aim down that low. Bridges out. Perfect. <laughs> Isn't this where the, the tumors all come in? Oh. Guys. They got the rocket launcher, I wonder. Fuck. That was fucking retarded. Still out of grenades. I wonder if I have to climb down that ladder. Failed to see the rocket coming this time. I don't think I can hit anything at this range, unfortunately. There's the guy! There's the guy! Fucking wise ass. That's right.
Okay. Alright. Oh, of course it's the no ammo one. Okay. If there's another rocket launcher guy, I'm gonna fucking freak. I'm gonna start screaming. Okay. I think that's everyone. later, but who the hell knows. Oh. I hate the flood. Ah. this tell me there's a warthog here right here somewhere no I don't see any warthogs okay How the hell would you beat this on Legendary? Okay, what the fuck killed me? Why are you shooting at me, you son of a bitch? Flank them. This is like the old Warsaw Gulch sneak secret uh, area. You just jump up on a rock and then no one, no one will see you. Okay, there we go. How is that guy such a crack shot with the fucking rocket launcher? <sighs> Who's giving them all the fucking rocket launchers? That's what I want to fucking know. I think I gotta, I, I gotta be sneaky. Fuck this shit. I must have beat it on easy when I was a kid. Gave that guy a fucking lick it. <clears throat> I 
How the hell did I do this last time? I must have just jumped over this one. Nope. He has Sky Remorse! Ah. Uh, nope. I will be the Sky Remorse! I am not the Sky Remorse. There we go. These fucking rocket launcher guy. It wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't these fucking rocket launcher guys. And these guys run at you like fucking morons. That, that stupid melee hit on those things is... You gotta have, like, the perfect timing. Otherwise, you're gonna always fucking miss. Alright, when the Red Baron here comes at me again, I'm gonna... There we go. Fucking annoying son of a bitch. Oh, good, the needler. The diddler. Alright, so where's your, uh... Where's the rocket launcher guy to f fucking blow me up? Well, I'm dealing with all of you. Oh, I think I shot the rocket launcher guy. Okay. I guess he decided he wanted to do a melee attack. Okay. Holy shit. I fucking need the flood. Find them and destroy them. Okay, good. And I gotta do another one of those stupid ass rooms. Okay, good. Fucking aim on these things. Okay. Is it necessary to go when you bolt your fucking gun? Oh, there we go. I don't know if I can. I'll just use all my rockets before I decide to. Oh, there we go. How does it feel, bitch? Okay, me, yeah, I probably shouldn't get the. Is there more ammo to get? Yes. <sighs> now I gotta find Banshee Parker. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay. 
Okay. I think I gotta go through this tunnel here. Hmm. Appears to be a dead end. Maybe I can climb it. Nope. Piece of shit. There we go. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, of course, they're all coming for me now. Oh, let's take out the rocket launcher! That looks like it's coming right for me. That was a kind of a bad shot. I think it's still gonna hit though. No, it's a miss. Where are the banshees? I see a banshee. I see a banshee. And there's just these little retards around. It. <sighs> Go away. I hate I hate these guys so much. Jump up the fucking ledge, you son of a bitch. I fucking hate these guys so much. Okay, at least I know next time I know I gotta blow that stupid tank up. Everyone's gonna think I'm a noob now. What the hell just happened? Okay, I'm just gonna save that. I'm too fucking angry. How long was that? 53. Alright. You gotta do this shit. When I become elected governor of Minnesota, I'm gonna make sure that every resident of our great state is equipped with a brand new Ford F 154x4. Because our winners get pretty rough around here. So make sure you vote for the body, otherwise, you're a cookie cutter. All right, I gotta beat this fucking mission to betrayal. So. Betrayed me. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Give me some more cry. Oh, my dad's just crying for sissies. So I have to get over there. They got some banshees parked around here somewhere, and I can't run to them. I have to take it easy. Right. Too bad you can't sneak in this game. Well, you can't see against the flood. They've got super hearing, kind of like Marge Simpson, which she can take steroids. These are her muscular ears. What do I got? Okay, I got one. That's not bad. Okay, this guy. This fucking guy. <laughs> How the hell did he spot me? Man, this gun's got terrible range. Okay, I have a fucking rocket launcher! Okay, 
good. Are you serious? Yeah, apparently she's public enemy number one. No, I can't. Run away! Big cover. Who hit me? Taking the ghost in. All right, we're gonna ramp this fucking son of a bitch. No, I need fucking back up. Yes! Fuck yeah! You ever see somebody do that with a fucking ghost? That's why they call me the chief. Oh shit! You ever see somebody do that with a ghost? Oh boy. Where did you go to school? Stormtrooper Academy? Fuck yeah. Built for speed. Fuck yes. Oh yeah. Vehicles. This is my inner boomer. I always need vehicles. Imagine if I was equipped, you know, imagine if I was driving my Ford F-350 and you put a little turret on the back. Well, a big turret, because I was going to small. And it's definitely not, a, it's not a tool for compensation. Like, you should be able to go I'm a proud two-inch, proud two-inch. Alright, this thing's fucking tough. Okay, let's, let's retreat for a second. Regroup. Uh, turn this truck around. The two inch mega hammer. There we go. That's fun. The main thing is I gotta get rid of these uh and the hunter, and the brute. Who the hell is a hunter? I 
know who the hunter is. It's me. Guess what? The hunter shall become prey. Because the sleeper awakened. That's right. You're a lot of, uh... game school, bitch. I thought about it. Let's go in, this is a fucking dangerous move. God- Oh, I'm so fucking dead. Ah! <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Luckily, my fucking ghost is- uh, He's a bitch made. I got the good one. Yes! Oh, there's a- Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, come on! I don't think you're supposed to be able to get the ghost up here, but... They didn't, uh, no, I got- I'm like, I see the next level of pirates. Oh, I thought I ran this son of a bitch over. I tripped him up. Don't bring a laser to a rocket flight. Okay, good. Let's 
too quiet. Should we check the officers on the scene? Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah? Fuck yes. Oh shit. Oh. Let's Man, fight that, that ghost skirmish. Captain. That was no, one hell of a fucking fight. You have a better idea. There's a teleportation that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can hold it for Have you sent me your dream physique? Needless Why are you say, telling I me that you're gay? Please, I don't want to know that you're gay. You're dreaming of other men's bodies. Please. Please. Okay? Well, here's something. There you go. That's, that's for the silly billies that are tuning in.